Hey, Papa Tess. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be drawing Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. I hope you'll follow along with us. You need a pencil, a marker, and anything to color with. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to get started with Kiki. And we're going to do, um, we're going to start with the head, but here's a little trick. Um, we want to know where we're going to end so we don't go off the page. So let's give ourselves a little mark on the side. Okay. That's going to be the top of her broom, and here we're going to do the bottom of her broom. Perfect. And so, if we have the bottom, we want to find where her, her head's going to kind of be in the middle. So we're going to come up here, and this is kind of, this is going to be where her head kind of starts. Right. So right here, we're going to start with her hair coming out. Okay. We don't have to be too specific. You can kind of change the jagged edges of her hair. We just want to kind of have a shape like that. And then coming in a little bit, and we're going to have an ear. And then line coming up and now we're gonna kind of figure out where her bow is so we're gonna come in here and draw the start of that bow like that perfect let's kind of loosely sketch in her head shape And maybe her, her hair too. And then we can come back and kind of fix it and work on it. But we need that basic shape so we can visualize and see what's going on. Right. I'm gonna start adding the face just so I can continue that process of seeing what's going on, what I need to fix and change. little nose <laughs> now that I see that I'm gonna come in and fix her hair just a little bit fix her bow a little bit Fix her face. Here. Okay. Now I'm starting to like the direction of that, so I'm ready to move on. And we're going to add a line right here for her neck. Still keeping it loose and sketchy so we can fix and change. We're going to come down with her arm, kind of giving a little S curve, and then we'll do her sleeve there, and we'll have another line coming up, rounded right at the end for her shoulder. We'll come back behind her cheek, draw a little lump, and then round down for her back and shoulder. We'll do a line to close off this sleeve. My face right now. I'll slow down and fix this real quick. Okay. okay. Now we're going to come in and draw arms and hands. So we're going to stop there and we're going to put a line here for where the thumb goes back behind the broom. And then we're going to wrap around a hand, the, the finger. We'll do a, a line there for her knuckle and then have a, hand, a line coming back. And then we're going to do a line back and into her wrist and arm again like that. Perfect. We're going to try to do the same thing on this side. We'll come down. 
This one's a little different because we have the thumb coming back to where we can see it. So we'll do a rounded stop where the broom is, the thumb, round it back to the hand. We'll have that go up. Oh, they're such a good teacher. Thanks. I'm gonna fill in these just so I can see that the sleeve is darker for when I ink it. Okay, now let's come back up here and we're gonna do this line for her bag. This is the strap. And then down here by her sleeve, we're gonna sketch a little black cat. Round shape for the head, the ears, two little eyes. Come down with the body. And this will all be filled in black, the black cat. So it doesn't have to be super clean as long as we have this outline shape. Okay, we have a line, two lines back here for the strap of her bag coming around. <laughs> You erase the face. Mm -hmm, <laughs> and then the bag coming around. Doing some nice S curves. We'll have that st strap. Let's have it pointing up. We need to figure out how we can get this one back down to it. So we're gonna do another S-curve here to come down. So I'm gonna fix this. Nice. Now we'll have the bag come down and around. a little button and now just underneath her hands we're gonna do a small lump right here for her knee and then we're gonna have another one that comes back up to the bag perfect right underneath there we're gonna add two feet so a line there and then the foot in front Give a little shape for the opening, the top of her foot. And then back here, we're gonna do kind of a wavy S curve and back down in for her dress. It's kind of blowing in the wind. Perfect. Okay, we're almost there. Now just underneath here, we're gonna come back to her, almost to her foot and we're gonna have the end of the broom come out. We made our mark so we know we can't go that past that mark, even all the way down here. So as we come out, just remember to don't, not go past that. We're gonna do jagged shapes. All the way around, kind of coming outward, but we're gonna stop there at the end so we don't go off the page. And then inside, we're just gonna do a few lines and some jagged lines for texture of that straw or sticks or whatever that is for her broom. Okay, over on this side, we're gonna come up and we're gonna have, we wanna make sure that it looks like the broom is coming up. Crossed our line just a little bit, we're, we're staying on the page. We're gonna have the knee come up because her leg is around it so we don't see the broom all the way through. That's her dress. That's it. Now I gotta fix her face. <laughs> so, faces are hard, but... You're doing really good though, it looks awesome. It's not that. Thank you. That looks great. Oh, that face looks great. For 
some of my other features. And fix her hair a little bit. She has crazy hair anyways. Perfect, that looks fantastic. Are you happy with it? Yep. Okay, now we're gonna ink our drawing. So we're gonna take our black marker, and this time we're gonna go back over, this is really sketchy, so we're gonna make some decisions where we're not just copying our line, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to make it better as we go. Okay. Still in the shot. Oh, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do a small S curve in the hair here. And then I'm gonna watch and just do, I don't want all the shapes to be exactly the same. We wanna make variety, make it interesting as we come down in the hair. Variety good, same is always boring. So same thing with her hair going up. I'm gonna give some bumps and variety. Do a big shape. And when we do, when we're designing, we always do a big, medium, and small. So if there's a big shape, I'll do a medium. Then I'll have another little small shape. And then I'm gonna come on this side. Just do some more interesting shapes for her hair. Now I'm gonna be really careful and I'm gonna ink her face. We can't undo it, so we wanna be really careful, make sure we're hitting those lines right. Fill in her eyes. Small line for her nose and some eyebrows. A little smile. Now let's go back up and finish her bow. Before I move on, I'm gonna fill in her hair really quick. No, you're good. Take all the time you need. Oh, it looks so good. It looks even better than mine. Aww. Yeah, you have a really cute face. Okay, now I'm gonna start going down the back. There's a strap for the bag. Do that. I'm gonna come around. I'm just gonna keep kind of going wherever I meet. I'm gonna finish that line too. Keep going with the bag. A little strap line. Come back into the sleeve. Job and come over to this sleeve. S curve. Draw the circle of the sleeve. Now while I'm here, I'm gonna fill in this sleeve. And same with the other one. Perfect. Keep going with the arm. Okay. I'm 
looks awesome. Let's come back down and do the knees. Down to the feet. Let's finish off that bag. Oops, I already did it. Oh, perfect. You're ahead of me. I'm gonna go back to the back of the dress now. Come back into the cat. The eyes are really small, so we want to make sure we leave some nice white space and still get the pupils in. And then we're going to fill in that whole shape black. Perfect. Oh, I have the strap still. And her neckline. Now, I'm gonna come back and ink the broom. We're gonna do jagged shapes, we're gonna do big lines, small lines, and make it interesting, and not keep them all the same. In the little details. Now we just have the broomstick. And there we have Kiki. Okay, now that we have our line drawing, let's color it. And there we have Kiki from Kiki's Livery Service. Yay. Oh, you did so good. You did too. Yours looks really good. Yours Way better. Good. And there we have Kiki. You did such a good job following along with me today, Bella. You're an amazing teacher, Bubba. Thank you. I hope you guys will come back really soon and draw with us again. Bye. Bye. Please make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. This helps YouTube continue to share our videos so that more kids around the world can continue to learn how to draw with Bubba. Thank you! Big box. Dillos.